You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Mallory Safaste with your WMAR 2 News update. The football team at Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C. has successfully used a helmet that helps deaf and hard of hearing football players. The team used them for the first time during their game last week against the Hilbert College Hawks, where they won 34 to 20. Normally, plays are radioed into players. Instead, this one digitally displays plays on the helmet's visor. The most important thing was it, it opened up access to communication. Uh, you know, important. Sometimes I can't get the attention of our quarterback. With this helmet, you don't have to look to the sideline to try to see what the coach is saying. You can just focus on the huddle, get the play directly from the helmet. You'll see the helmets on the field again when Gallaudet takes on Castleton this Saturday at noon. Coming to Baltimore this weekend is a high-flying celebration of the world of Disney. Disney on Ice will be at CFG Bank Arena Thursday through Sunday with its new show, Magic in the Stars. The show promises to be a particularly interactive one. Attendees helping to defeat Zerg from Toy Story, for example. We have more information on tickets at WMAR2news.com. Well, touch warmer before the rain gets here for the weekend. We'll get highs back in the mid-70s be hard to top Wednesday, but I think we can do it on Thursday. Mainly sunny skies. See the clouds working their way in Friday, a sign of things to come. Friday's dry, Saturday is not. Showers work in the morning hours, midday and into the afternoon. We got the Baltimore Running Festival. If you're in that, uh, I'd factor rain in for sure. Temperatures get cooler from there. Low 60s for highs most of next week. Mallory. Thanks, Chris. Stick with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Mallory Safaste.